Hello, this is a video lesson on how to play Essential Elements, page 21, line 76. For Pete's sake, there are two things, uh, two new concepts you need to know um, for playing this piece. First of all, the idea of time signatures. Up to now, at the beginning of your music, there has been the number four over the number four. That the time signature tells you how many beats there are in a measure and what note gets a beat. Time is um, referring to the beat because time uh, beats are how you measure time in music, like the seconds on a clock. Okay, so the one we've been using up to now has had a four on the top and a four on the bottom, meaning there are four beats per measure and four quarter, and the quarter note gets beat. A measure is this thing over here, this space over here, that's a quarter note down there. Um, Starting with page 21, they are introducing a new time signature with a two on the top and a four on the bottom. The two on the top means there are two beats per measure, and the four means that the quarter note still does get the beat. That isn't always the case, but most of the time that is the case in music that the quarter note gets the beat. The other thing that you need to know about is at the end you will notice that there is a one with a bracket and a two with a bracket with a repeat sign in between them. These are called first and second endings. In order to play a first and second ending, um, a piece with a repeat with the first and second ending, you play the first ending, number one, the first time through, then you repeat the same section of music. You skip the first ending, number one, and instead you play the second ending. It's like um, video game um, reference. First time around, guy doesn't re realize there's an ambush. He gets whooped, he goes back to the beginning, goes to the trail again. He realizes that if he goes in a certain place, he's gonna get whooped. So he goes to a different place and he successfully makes it to the end of the game. Okay, so again, when you see this, I will describe what to do in the music. Also be aware that there are all eight notes of D major scale in this song. <coughs> Excuse me, um, open D string. First finger on D, E. Second finger on D, F sharp. Third finger on D, that's G. No fingers on the A string, that's A. First finger on the A string, that's B. C sharp, that is the uh, second finger on the A string. And D, high D, that is on the A string three fingers. Last thing you need to know is that there are quarter notes and eighth note rhythms in this piece. I'll now play it super slow, saying each note and what to do all the way through. And then I'm going to play a little faster, only telling you where the first and second endings are. Here we go. First time through. One, two, ready, play D. D, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, F sharp, E, rest, E, E, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp, rest, F sharp, F sharp, A, A, B, C sharp, high D, A, B, A, G, E, A, A, B, A, that was the second end, first ending, that was the first ending. Now repeat, D, D, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, F sharp, E, rest, E, E, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp, rest, F sharp, 
F sharp, A, A, B, C sharp, D, A, B, A, G, E. Skip the first ending, go to the second ending, D, E, D. Okay, and the reason why I made that funny face is because ice is falling off the side of my house right now, and it scared me. Okay, we're going to play it the second time now. Um, love winter. Get ready to play. One, two, ready, play. D. Rest. First ending, repeat. Skip the first ending, go to the second ending, go. Rest. Good luck and happy practicing.